All right. Good morning, sir. All right. We are live. Want to make sure we come over here and check this bad boy out. Fifty two truck. So this truck, I was able to talk to this gentleman a little bit this morning, but this is something I've never seen before. Make sure I come back, check this guy out. I looked at it in the dark this morning. Came back to harass you? You don't see too many 4x4 uh, 52s. No, you, there wasn't many in 52. <laughs> really? We only made a couple hundred of these a year. Came back to harass, officially harass you? Oh, sure. <laughs> so, this is a 52. It's a 1952 F1 LD7-4, which means a 1952 half-ton half truck from Marmot Harrington all-wheel drive. That's all that means. <laughs> and you were saying that they still make these, right? Yeah, it's now rather than being called Marmot Harrington and stuff. Marmot Group, and it's owned by uh, Warren Buffett. Okay. Works your hat away. So, you were saying that at the time in '52, these were fairly expensive, right? Very expensive. Yeah, these were uh, the, the stock truck cost about fifteen hundred dollars, and then the four-wheel drive was another fifteen hundred. Wow! And from from start to finish, when you got this truck, how long did it take for you to restore it? it took uh, three years, from 2005 through. Uh, 2008. Okay. Now, did you have a did you have a hard time finding one of these trucks, or did you already have it? And no, like... I well, I had a I had a 1950 F1, but not without not with Marmon Harrington, and I literally started looking around for one, and somebody made a comment to me that there was one on eBay mm -hmm. that didn't sell, and I had a friend say, "Can you find this truck for me?" So, anyways, I was able to contact the person and you know I talked to them and they eventually said yeah I'll sell you the truck if you promise to restore it <laughs> and it was their their dad's truck and they had owned the truck since 1958 wow and so I restored it the, I went on the cover of a magazine they sent the, the family uh, photographs of it the original dealer was uh, Bison Ford in, uh, in Montana. I'm not can't remember the town it's in, and they they got pictures of it in their showroom and that kind of thing. So. Wow. So was it a pretty rough shape when you originally got it, or was it pre in pretty decent shape? Well, it was all here, but no, it was in bad shape. Was it? Wow. Yeah. And no, you I've got. In fact, I've got pictures. Of oh, it. do you? Yeah. Let's check it out. One thing I know you already said is that I mean the I love the fire extinguisher. Yeah. What did you say? Fire, not a, it's not a fire extinguisher. No, right? it, well, yeah, it is a fire extinguisher, not a fire hydrant. Fire hydrant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then all these different data tags are all unique to Marmon Harrington. It was on the cover oh, wow. of Vintage Truck Magazine, and I'm not sure of the month. Oh, April 2010. Wow. And that's this truck. That's this truck. Wow. Look at all those the tags and stuff. Wow. This is the best tag right there. That's an original tag. The, the that says it's a Marmon Harrington. Yeah. And here's what the truck looked like wow. to begin with. Oh wow, that's what it looked like. Yeah. That's what I started with. Wow. That's crazy. That's amazing. It's beautiful inside too. Thank and you. you said it was gray to, to start with. It, it was, was yeah, not blue. Right? Same, you know, the color I just showed you in the mm -hmm. pictures. Yeah. I think they called it smokehouse gray. Mm -hmm. And it looked it looks like primer. 
Mm -hmm. So I decided I already had a yeah, another it did blue look, truck. Yeah, it did look like primer. I had another That's what I thought it was. I, I had another blue truck, and so that was shared in blue. So what I did was I I had two blue trucks. Yeah. Together. Wow. It looks really good with the uh, like the red. I guess that would be red, red, red and gray. Exactly, that's exactly the way the original was. Oh wow! Yeah. And the blue wheels, and I mean, you, the the way that you restored it is just and leaving it the six volt, and I, it, it's just so meticulously restored that it. It's probably, just, probably the best shot of the whole truck is if you stoop down, mm -hmm. you can do that. See the, the four wheel drive yeah, unit down a, there. It's got. Uh, a Dana 44, and you'll see when you look that there's, it even has the data tags on it. Wow. That's crazy. It's amazing. I mean, you did such an amazing job restoring it. Couple bugs on there. <laughs> the only thing that's not stock on it is the bedwood. Oh, okay. The bedwood yeah. should be painted body color. Oh, really? Yeah. And this right here, this whole thing, this tells you the story of the truck. It's an F1. That means it's a half ton, and it's got four. It's got four wheel drive. That tells you everything about it. Thank you so much for bringing it. It's such a beautiful truck. Definitely never seen one before. You should come in on this side and take a picture of the tag, the huh? Tag yeah. That's an original data tag. And that's that one's original, huh? That's original, and so is the brass one's an original. You can open up the door if you want. Okay. Let me get rid of this thing here. Oh. Wow. I mean, that door opens so beautifully, too. What are you going to do with this video? Uh, it's it's live on the Donut Derelicts Facebook page, oh, okay. and then um, I'll also upload them to uh, Facebook, all, or excuse me, to YouTube also. I'll just make sure it focuses on there. That data, that data tag is so cool. Wow. The interior is so cool. Magic air. <laughs> That's just really just a heater. Yeah. You know. Here's really? another thing that's it's very subtle. But even when I had this all new glass, when I had the glass made, I had the mm -hmm. the little uh, Ford scripts put in. Mm -hmm. Wow. Awesome. Beautiful. Pick up my thing here. Awesome. South Carolina. Cool. Thank you very much for bringing it. You're welcome. Very Thank nice you. to meet you again. Nice meeting you. you did a beautiful job on it. Thank you. It. Yeah, beautiful. I would see you last night. All right, keep moving here. All right. Keep 
cruising. What do we got? From Paris. Good morning. Cool fastback. Good looking F100 rolling in. We got the 56, the 55, and the 57. David. Did a really nice job. Needful Things Hot Rod. Fantastic videos, I appreciate that. Man, they did a really nice job with the inner fender wells. Inner fender wells, excuse me. The sheet metal on that looks real nice. It's a 56, this is a Crown Vic. Club Sedan. Fastbacks, really nice. Let's go check that out too. Oh no, there's yes, I like the old license plates. Do you love me a uh, nice fastback? What do we got? Yeah. Nice fastback. Got a little Pokemon. We got a Galaxy for sale. Really nice AMX. Five gasser. Get a haircut. I know. <laughs> the fifty five gasser. They were inconsistent. You couldn't get them to two more. I want some kids now. Yeah. Yeah. Is it supercharged? Morning, sir. How you doing? Cool caddy over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. You gonna be buying a Cadillac over here or what? What's that? You buying a Cadillac? How are you? What's up? Right. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Good morning, how are you? Good morning. We made it out. You buying me a Cadillac or what? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. No? No, no, no. Thank <laughs> you. 
Whose is the that that Ford over there? That thing's pretty. That thing's pretty sick. <laughs> Does it? Was that got a coyote in it? Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, it's got a GT500 on it. I bet. It's got a supercharged uh, GT500 motor in it. Oh, yeah? Oh, wow. This thing's cool. Whoa. Damn. Wow. Dude, this thing's nice. Wow. Jesus. Dude, this thing's nice. What do you think? What's up, dude? How you doing? Nice to see you. That's my buddy Dave. Dude, this thing's <laughs> fucking cool. I was gonna say, I, I, I figured it had a coyote motor in it, but damn. This thing's not fucking around. Yeah. <laughs> it was at the Grand National uh, Roadster Show last year. Huh. I like the back suicide. Did it start out as a a quad a quad cab? It was. No back suicide. You can't melt it. It was a quad cab though. Yeah. Oh wow. It was a small window. I mean, it's been massaged in every. I'm sure. I, I hit you up today. Uh huh. I tagged you. It's Dave's crew cab. Uh huh. Wow. I the interior. I love the interior in it too. Look at the headliner. Wow. Dude, this thing's really nice. Huh. Damn. Cool color too. Really nice. Back yeah. <laughs> this seems really nice. I love it. You could take some friends with you. Oh, you know it's interesting, and I didn't notice this until now. Is the tailgate is welded. I just noticed the tailgate's welded in. Can you see it? I drove it over an hour. This one's yours? Yeah. You know that strip touched your paint there? It swung <laughs> back? Yeah, the vibration. Uh -huh. Just just get a big hammer. <laughs> so from start to finish, what how how long did this thing take to get done? Me? I would say I got about four years in it. Yeah, I bet. I mean, just all the little, just the little things. Like the, I didn't even notice until I walked over that the tailgate was welded, and just the wood with all the the grain that matches the paint, and just all those little things. Did you decide on those things? Were they already done? Nope. I decided to do it when I built it. I already knew how I was going to build it. Okay. You had like a picture in your mind, I'm right. going to do all these things. Yeah. And I had a picture I was going to put a GT500 in it with an automatic in it, six-speed automatic in it. Okay. So that's what I wanted. <laughs> and I built a full chassis for it and everything. Wow. Crazy. Did you already have the truck before you decided on what you were going to do? I, I already knew what I wanted. I was just trying to find this truck. Oh, okay. And I built it because nobody likes these. That's why I built it. You built it because nobody likes these trucks? Nobody likes this body style. Okay. Said, so I'm going to make them look good, I said. <laughs> why, why I've had plenty of Chevy trucks. Now it's time to do a Ford, I said. Okay. So that's why I built it. <laughs> you wanted something that people didn't like. Yeah, well, but, they just say these are ugly trucks. So I said, well, I'm going to make one look good. So that's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> because in the quad, it's hard to find these quad cabs, right? Yeah, they only made 400 of them. 
<laughs> they only made 400 quad cabs of these? Really? You know what? Government only. Yeah. Didn't... I feel... And I could be wrong here. Did they take two cabs of these and two send cabs. them out and yeah, then and they kind of stretch or something, right? Yeah. Right. This was number 142. This wow. Huh. That's and it was, crazy. Uh, it was it was brought to the basin in uh, Falkland by uh, Camp Pendleton. That's where this truck came out. Of Camp Pendleton? Yep, that's where this truck came out. Oh, wow. I really, I really love the interior that you chose too. It looks awesome. And the paint, like my buddy Scott did all the sewing. It was my design. In it. Wow. I mean, just all the. Because this truck was built in Northern California. Oh, it was okay. I mean, the <laughs> just all the stitch. It just looks so cool. You did such a really good job. The mirrors and the steering wheel and just all the those are really a lot of really cool details were there other motors that you you were like i'm gonna put a coyote you just went straight no, to the gt500 because the gt500 was the motor back then when i bought it that was the best okay it, so that's what i put in it yeah and make 701 on a dyno <laughs> and not even to ask what year is it 60 1960 because they only made this like fridge style body like for a couple. 57 to 60. Okay, just two years. Yeah. Wow. Man, this thing's yeah. really cool. Anything else like that people will people walk around this and not notice? They won't notice the fenders in the back have been shrunk on it and dropped four inches on the back. They can drop four inches and oh, okay. three inches this way on the back. And then the hood's been modified in the front to make it fit to the to the grill. Oh, uh, okay. It, I'll, I'll close it. <laughs> See how it fits down inside the grill. Oh, though. yeah. They have a big gap originally. In uh, yeah. yeah. Then it's got a 57 right, later, bumper on it. 57, Good luck with 58. That thing. The bump? Okay, yeah. yeah. They only came on two years, that bumper. And it came with no license plate originally. Yeah, well, he has, he has one that's 2,000 miles. This car looks like Man. a really burgundy white car. No rake. And did these originally have like a grill here? No, they were open, but they were smaller. This is larger because they, I dropped the hood down. Oh, I see. So I metal did all in. That's what I did. Huh. It's so unique. And when the back door handles, were they originally kind of back here? Yes, back there. And it had big goofy hinges on the front. <laughs> and then the ring that was taken out, and then this was all cut off. And oh, I wow. made this, all this. Man, it looks so much cleaner without the gutters yeah, on it. just cleaned it up. Yeah. There's just... It was built 2019 is when I finished it. Wow. So it's been around already a year. A lot of stuff's been done to it. Tons and tons of stuff. Just on the outside. That you're not even talking about the stuff that's on the yeah. inside. Then it's got a NASCAR uh, Mustang two front end in it. Okay. And then it's got a four bank uh, Mustang style front end in it in the back. With an 88 in it. With 331s in it. It cruises on the highway. I was gonna say it's, it cruises. I bet it I cruise does. I cruised 80 all the way here with it. <laughs> I bet. If you get on it, this thing goes, huh? Yeah. yeah. Jesus. This thing's cool. I bet. <laughs> you get in trouble with this thing on the freeway, huh? <laughs> this thing's cool. What was your name again? I'm sorry. Dave. Dave, I'm Steve. This thing's really cool. <laughs> awesome. I'll look me up on Dave's Crew Cab. <laughs> Dave's Crew Cab, okay. Because I own nine crew cabs. Do you have... <laughs> So what? What's this with, is my best what, one right now. What's, but what's, I'm building one even better. What's with the crew cab stuff? Different. Just what, different. Just were there when Let, you were younger? Did your dad have a crew cab? Were you into crew cabs? What's what's with the crew cab I'm stuff? In the, I used to be in the four wheel drives really a lot, and everything was crew cab. And okay. Like, and I wanted to build a crew cab slammed an old truck crew cab slammed on the ground. Uh huh. Just just Something just different. to be different. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, my shop's full of them, believe me. I got a lot of crew cab trucks coming. You, right you need a lot of space for all the crew cabs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah 
need a warehouse just for the crew cabs. <laughs> They're very cool. I love it. This thing's awesome. Thank you. Nice to see you. That thing's crazy. Crazy, crazy. This thing's really cool too. I love the wheels on this thing. I love the seat that's in this too. One of my uh, favorite uh, seats. Is this a TMI seat? I want to go to the other side and check. Love the uh, seat. He put in this. I don't know if it's a TMI seat though. I don't know if that's a TMI seat that he put in there. Bubble top Pontiac. Yep. Actually, it's a Buick, which you don't see very often. This is the crew right here. The crew, the crew. <laughs> I love the addition of the little TV. 